Hi, welcome to Vegetables Day 102. So, um, today was a, it was a pretty okay day. Um, I went to bed last night and again couldn't sleep. I didn't get to sleep till probably 2 or 2.30. And then I had to get up again at um, 5.45 to get my grandson up for school. But today, I did not go back to bed. Um, I played games on my phone until he left. And then I got up and I actually went or, or made breakfast. And we had breakfast, you know, like about 8 o'clock, which is pretty good for me. Sometimes we don't get up till 10, 10.30. Um, for breakfast, I had two of the Jimmy Dean Delights breakfast sandwiches, um, English Canadian bacon and English muffin, and a hash brown potato. Um, and then as a snack, I had a package of cheese and peanut butter crackers. And then I took, took my shower, um, curled my hair, but it's all falling out again. My, well, I curled my bangs, I put it back up. Just to make it quick and easy. And it's, it's like not start today. I don't understand. You know, yesterday it was straight, straight, straight. Couldn't curl it if I wanted to. And then today it's it's wavy. I, I don't get it. But after my shower, I got really ambitious. So, I thought I'd take you along and show you what I did all day. So here is an insight into my day. A little bit of insight into my day, at least. This is what's left of the fruits of my labor. This is what's cooking. This is the mess I made. And this is what I have left to do still. <laughs> but that does mean well, I have to do this too. Let's see. Those are clean. I did those this morning. But of course what that means or this means I started the day with an empty sink and empty cupboards. But that means I did not eat out today. So, not for sure if I'll get this done tonight. Um pretty tired. I mean, I did this, but I also did this. Let me get this. What was in this pan? I made that too. It was, there we go. It was, well, it was uh, one of the everyday, everyday plates, or every plate recipes, and, um, I'll show you that here in just a moment. So, in that pot, I said I made it every plate. It was this one. And you see what's at the top. It was so, so good. And while I was making it, you know, I'm always a taster. Um, I guess all good cooks. Not that I'm a good cook, but um, 
all good cooks recommend that if you're going to be a better cook that you taste as you go because you want to make sure and season throughout the different steps so you know I was tasting stuff and I got to the bacon and when it got done I tasted it and it was like really bland and I'm like hmm well okay I'll put it in anyway but because I had salted the onions when I cooked them and then put more salt in the with the milk and the potatoes and then put some more salt on afterwards like it says because it says salt three times yeah you um just to give you an idea it's step two you have um you're cooking the you know the um, onion and garlic and you season with salt and pepper then you add the potatoes and you season generously with salt and pepper. And then, once the potatoes are tender, you stir in the bacon and cheese, and then season generously season with salt and pepper. <laughs> so it's probably a good thing that the uh, bacon wasn't very salty at all. It wasn't. A, I'd never had that bacon that was that bland, and I didn't think it was going to add any to any flavor. But oh my goodness, it was good. As a matter of fact, I ate this recipe. It's supposed to be for two. I ate the whole thing. It was that good. And then I made the other two things that I showed you. So, that was my day. Um, I did put a load of laundry away. Um, and it was, a, it was a big load. I'm like sitting here folding it this morning and I'm like, when is this going to end? Is this is this load ever going to end? Because I had to put my grandson's clothes in the dryer. But I got that put away. And I did dishes. Well, no, I did dishes last night. So then when I woke up this morning, and I think I said that wrong earlier, um, when I woke up this morning, I actually had no dishes. No dirty dishes. Not one. <laughs> oh, of course, now you see what the state of the kitchen is. <laughs> but that's for tomorrow. And then while I was eating... Okay, so then for lunch I had the soup. Uh, while it was cooking I was absolutely starving. So I had an Asian pear. And then... For dinner, I showed you what I was cooking. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, it was Beanie Weenies. It was Scott's request. I had I only had a couple, you know, maybe a half a cup or maybe a cup of it. That's it. I didn't have much of that. Um, but he also had corn, sweet corn, and tater tots with it. So I had about eight or nine tater tots and then I ate the rest like half a can of corn. He had half and I had half. So the majority of my dinner was corn. And I'm stuffed. <laughs> Not stuffed. I'm comfortably full. Which is nice. And it, it I know beanie weenies are not very good for you. But every once in a great while it's one of those dishes that just brings you back to your childhood and it brings you, at least for me and my husband, it brings us to a happy place. I tried one of the hot dogs by itself. Um, the muffins I made, those were from um, Forks Over Knives. And they didn't quite get done in the middle. I mean, they're good and they're definitely healthy because they're definitely whole foods, plant-based. Um, the only issue I have is it didn't, you know, they're only like this big. They didn't rise at all. And that could be because my baking soda and baking powder are, are old. And they didn't seem to really want to cook in the middle all the way. And it called for two and a half cups of oat flour. 
So I put two and a half cups of rolled oats but forgot to measure it. So it was probably a little lacking on, well, the oat flour is either lacking or there wasn't enough. I think it was probably just lacking. But again, they're still good. They're not terribly sweet. I mean, there's just a hint of sweetness. I did add a little bit more. The sweetness is maple syrup. So I did add a little bit more maple syrup than they suggested. And um, I tried to make them without cinnamon, but it, the batter just didn't taste right. It had kind of a bitter taste, and I think it's because I put too much ginger. Um, it called for cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg. And so I put, I was going to try to make it without the cinnamon, and I think I put too much ginger in because it was bitter. I mean, ginger might have a bite, but I don't know. It could have been too much nutmeg. Uh, so I did put a touch of cinnamon in them. And I've had three or four of them, and I'm feeling it. So, you know, I'll have to take some medicine before I go to bed. But then after, or while I was eating dinner, and after doing all that cooking all day, I worked on this. And this is what I have planned for the rest of the day. Other than, you know, finishing editing, editing this video. As you can see, get a little closer. See what it is. A couple little kitty cats. And a chair. And those are going to be pillows. And a Kleenex nearby, as always. Because everyone knows around me that I no sooner get something started and I have to blow my nose. <laughs> Just about done with that puzzle. Um, I did empty two of the blue and white trays that you saw in the picture or in the video. I have emptied two of them. So, you know, I'm trudging along. <laughs> and I put it on the mat. I mean, I usually leave the puzzle out on the table, but I have it on the mat so that if, uh, you know, I do need the table, I have it available. Um, next project is going to be making a wreath for my mother. She's wanted something new for a year now. And I just haven't been motivated to do it. So I think I, if it's going to rain again tomorrow, um, I think I might work on that. And, you know, I'll give you a shot of it and show you what it's like. Um, if I do make it, if I do videotape making it, um, it'll be on my Angie B's house channel. Well, you know, because this is more about health, about me and my health, this channel is. And healthy things and then Angie B's house is about things I do in the house or crafting or you know de well, decorating yeah right I don't decorate <laughs> I don't know how and I have tried and it never works but of course I've never taken the time to really really try now that Pinterest is available so maybe, I know, I know we want to, we got, Scott and I have so many plans that we want to do for the house because it's blah. <laughs> so I know we, like, for instance, we have to redo the bathroom and I might put that on this channel just because it has to do with health, I don't know, or AGB's house, I might do both. Uh, but you know, that's it. That's all I did today. Um, I weighed myself this morning. I was 238. Weighed myself this afternoon. I was 239. Uh, didn't wear my my watch all day. So um, it's only recorded 3,192 steps, but I've been on my feet all day. Um, and see evidence 
that I've been on my feet all day and haven't worn my watch. They only record 9 out of 12 hours and only 331 out of 600 calories. So, yeah, I'm not really going to go on this today. Um, good thing is, is that my resting heart rate is still down. It was 61 today. And my current heart rate is 69. So, feeling much better, obviously. And I'm, 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 I'm happy about that. Oh, well, that's the video for today. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you know when I upload the video every day. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.